Hello, and welcome to Mastering Visual Studio 2019. I am your host and instructor, Joshua Garverick. A little bit about me. I've been a professional software developer for about 15 years. I've worked on both domestic, meaning US-based, and international platforms. I have participated in and led DevOps transformations in several companies. And I've worked in a variety of different verticals, from logistics to healthcare, finance, retail, and aerospace. I am also a Microsoft MVP in developer technologies, specifically focused on application lifecycle management. I am an ALM DevOps Ranger, which is the group formerly known as the Visual Studio ALM Rangers. And I'm also an author of a book entitled Migrating to Azure. Let's take a look at the course overview. This course is split up into six sections. First, we're going to cover new features in Visual Studio. This ranges from the new start window to the new search pane and uh, new filters for discovering different project types and different platforms to target those. Next, we'll talk through how we can get to debugging code quicker. Now, this can be done in a couple of different ways, and we'll talk through some of the examples of how to do that. Next, we're going to look at how to boost performance using things like filter files. Filter files are targeted solution files that will only open a subset of projects. Very useful for anyone dealing with a large solution, let's say more than 15 to 20 projects. That way you can target only those that are relevant to you and avoid having to load everything else that isn't relevant. Next, we'll talk through Source Control and Team Explorer with direct connections to GitHub and to Azure DevOps. We'll talk through the Source Control integration, including the new pull request experience, as well as some of the more in-depth Azure DevOps integrations, such as configuring continuous integration and continuous delivery. Next, we'll talk about web technologies and programming languages. One of the nice improvements in Visual Studio 2019, especially with respect to the web templates and support for .NET Core 3.0, is that you can generate web projects using a variety of different languages, any, anything from Visual Basic to Visual C Sharp to Python, F Sharp, and others. So we will be looking at that in depth and specifically focusing on creating web projects as well as how to publish them. Finally, We'll round it out with mobile development using Visual Studio 2019. This is more geared towards folks who are interested in using the Xamarin platform for cross-platform mobile development, specifically for iOS, Android, and the Universal Windows platform, or UWP. Some prerequisites. General knowledge of Visual Studio is definitely recommended. A basic understanding of programming languages is also recommended. I may go so far as to say you may want to have a bit more in-depth knowledge of things like C Sharp, web technology programming like JavaScript or things like that. That will help to, to kind of frame some of the sections as we get more involved. You're also going to want to have Visual Studio 2019 Community, Professional, or Enterprise installed depending on the license that you have available to you. Some course goals. We're going to identify and use time-saving new features that are located within the Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. How to load, debug, and test your solutions quicker. How to leverage source control integration and Azure DevOps integration. We're going to start to develop web applications in several different languages, and we're going to learn how we can benefit from performance improvements and enhanced experiences for mobile development. I'm really excited that you're here to take this course, so let's get started and dive right in.